सदाशिव सरंभाम शंकराचार्य मध्यमा अस्मदाचार्यपर्यता वंदे गुरुपरंपरा ओ उद्धवगीता ट्वेंटी थर्ड चैप्टर इन रामकृष्ण मिशन बुक वर्ष नंबर थ्री तैजसे निद्रया पन्ने पिंडस्थो नष्टचेतन माया प्राप्नोति मृत्युन्वा तद्वन्नादृक्कुम in the 22nd chapter lord krishna talked about uh, ishwar aradhana as a sadhana as karma yoga to get uh, chitta shuddhi to qualify oneself for gnana yoga that chapter was called as kriya yoga bhakti yoga alone was titled as kriya yoga ishwar aradhana roopa kriya yoga now in this 23rd chapter lord krishna has entered into gnana yoga just like mandukya upanishad any other upanishadic teaching like vedanta in in its core so gnana yoga why karma yoga or bhakti yoga anantaram gnana yoga karma lakshana bhakti yoga is incomplete without gnana yoga so completion of karma yoga only in gnana yoga so what is the difference between that kriya yoga or ishvara aradhana roopa karma yoga and gnana yoga what is the difference there are lot of differences first one difference we can take here the lifestyle of a person in karma kanda karma yoga means in karma kanda where there is a lot of puja aradhana etc the lifestyle of the person perception towards the world is different in karma kanda the lifestyle of the person is different in viewing the world how he looks at the world is different in gnana yoga lifestyle the person's perception towards the world is different perception to the towards the world from the standpoint of karma kanda what is the person's perception towards the world from the standpoint of gnana kanda when a person comes to gnana kanda what is the perception of a person towards the world we cannot call him as a person but we can call him as a sadhaka a seeker a seeker or a sadhaka his perception is entirely different what is the difference the difference is in karma kanda or kriya yoga ishvara aradhana roopa karma yoga person looks at the world as bhogya pravancha 
ఐ యామ్ ద భోక్త ఎక్స్పీరియన్సర్ భోక్త ఐ యామ్ అండ్ వరల్డ్ ఈజ్ అ భోగ్యం ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్డ్ బై మీ ఇన్ ద ఫామ్ ఆఫ్ ప్లెషర్ అండ్ పెయిన్ అండ్ దిస్ ప్లెషర్ అండ్ పెయిన్ కమ్స్ త్రూ దట్ through the bhogya pradaha ishvara ishvara is the giver of pleasure and pain according to our karma and world is the means through which i get pleasure and pain i am the bhokta the subject that bhokta i am experiencing the world ishvara is the bhokta pradaha bhogya pradaha to the bhokta so the triad will continue bhokta bhogyam bhogya pradaha ishvara bhokta jeevah bhogya jagat bhogya pradaha ishvara so this is the format world is that i am experiencing i am the experiencer ishvara is the all knower who is the giver of my karma phalam this is the vision of a bhakta in karma yoga or in karma kanda or upasana kanda as long as he or she is in that karma kanda only this is the view towards the world not only world world includes the body mind also so there is a, a triad jeeva jagat ishvara is there now in gnana kanda lifestyle when a person comes to shravanam shastra shravanam the moment the student is listening to tattva bodha and bhagavad gita other vedanta texts the person looks at the world not as a bhogya prapancha not as a bhokta upon oneself or nor ishvara as bhogya pradaha three are converted into two as atma anatma i the jeeva the two components are there consciousness plus nama roopa jagat is also existence principle is there in jagat plus nama roopa and ishvara also there is a consciousness and nama roopa so consciousness plus nama roopa nama roopa is body mind complex is anatma so jeeva has got atma anatma division in gnana kanda atma is consciousness i am a conscious being i am a conscious being consciousness is there plus body mind complex nama roopa then ishvara is also consciousness plus prapanchatraya nama roopa ishvara nama roopa consciousness is called atma ishvara ishvaratvam that ishvara who is nama roopa is anatma in ishvara also consciousness is called atma other than consciousness ishvara form name comes under anatma so atma anatma division in ishvara atma anatma division in jeeva in jagat also that atma i am in the form of existence సదాత్మరూపేణ సత్రూపేణ ఎగ్జిస్టెన్స్ రూపేణ ఐ ది కాన్షియస్నెస్ ఐఎమ్ దేర్ అండ్ నామ రూప ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ అనాత్మ ఆల్సో ఈస్ దేర్ సో కాన్షియస్నెస్ ప్లస్ ఆర్ ఆత్మ 
anatma division at jiva and ishvara level at jagat level existence and nama rupa anatma maya is there therefore two only are there now atma and anatma consciousness existence atma and anatma nama rupa name and form only two are there in gnana kanda lifestyle looking at the world also as sadrupena jiva ishvara also chidrupena anatma nama rupa are only mithya only consciousness existence alone is satyam that consciousness happens to be myself my real nature my higher nature i am not connected to this body mind complex body mind matter belongs to lower order of reality i the consciousness existence principle am belong to the higher order of reality they cannot touch me i am enlivening the body mind complex because of my blessing i lend sentiency i lend existence to this body mind complex in my presence they are functioning i remember this my life is a sport the moment i forget i am consciousness existence principle if i identify with body nama rupa then my life is miserable so your life is miserable or leela or sport it is in your understanding in your understanding about you about ishvara and about the world this understanding is possible only in gnana kanda this understanding is possible only in gnana kanda you get this gnanam because you have completed karma kanda sufficiently if we are not understanding now means you have not completed karma kanda sufficiently in artha how much it requires that much you have not completed so continue that ishvara aradhana some more time be in karma yoga nothing wrong that is the best way to qualify oneself therefore in this shloka lord krishna is telling the whole world is nothing but like a dream taijasya swapne it is like a dream look at the shloka taijase nidraya apanne how this dream has come apannaha what is the hetu cause nidraya by our own sleep in the time at the time of sleep every one of us get a dream in the night dream is projected by mind pindastha nashta chetanaha i the waker am totally has forgotten the waker hood chetanaha i am unconscious of my waker hood my mind projects the dream nashtachetana ha forget myself pindastha means the jeeva the individual who slept on the bed at the time of sleep then mayam prapnoti the unreal dream world he is um, uh, sub subservient to that dream mayam prapnoti in his own dream he subjected subjective world he 
involved in that. Mayam prapnoti mrityum va. Here mrityu means two meanings we can take. Mrityu means deep sleep. Going to deep sleep is the corridor. From deep sleep to you go to sopna. Again from sopna you will come to deep sleep. Like uh, in Brihadaranyaka Upanishad, a nice uh, example given, that uh, fish example. Going to that bank, this bank, fish is uh, traveling and staying in the middle sometime and goes to that bank and experiencing that. And goes to the deep sleep, staying in one place like that. Apnoti mrutyum va or deep sleep or maya means a dream. So dream is real for a dreamer in dream. Dream is not a dream in dream for a dreamer. Or for a dreamer, dream is not a dream in dream. Dream is a waking state like. But when he wakes up, the whole dream world, he understands it is unreal. For that, Tadvat, similarly, for that, for that means that Jiva, how he has uh, forgotten himself as waker and went into dream, one and a half minute, I think less than one and a half minute dream comes. The dream time zone is different. Waking world time zone is different. There you get a, a job and get married and get children also and you become old also. All happen in one and a half minute. The time journey is different. Tadvat, like that. Nanar Tadrik Puman. Puman, the waker. The waker. Nanar Thadrik, the waker also, just as the dreamer is the one who is dreaming, dream world and dreamer, dream objects and experiencer, experienced everything he alone. Similarly, waker also, seeing Nanar varieties of things, he sees as real. Just as the dreamer sees dream objects are real. How much real? Dream water is real for dreamer, th dream thirsty. When he is in thirst, dream water alone is useful, not waking world water. So the dream is real. Sadvat is similarly. Na Pumanu, the waker, that is why in um, Khatopanishad, Yamadharma Raja said, Uttishthata Jagrata, you wake up. And there, Nidra, you have to wake up to come out of dream. If you want to come out of dream, you have to wake up from that Nidra, Nidra Shakti. Nidra Shakti has got two things. One is Avarana, another is Vikshepa. So, Nidra Shakti, once it covers, overpowers the person, he forgets first waker hood, that is called Avarana. Then mind projects the dream, that is called Vikshepa. Avarana and Vikshepa, both will happen. Similarly, Tadvat, similarly, here also, in waking state also, Nidra Shakti, like Maya Shakti is there, Ajnana. Here, Nidra Shakti is uh, avidya, ignorance. From that only Yamadharma Raja asked, wake up, Uttishthata. Make up and be awake. Don't be sleepy again. Be awake. Then, Uttishthata Jagrata. What you have to do? Prapya Varani Bodhata. Go to the Tuesday, Tuesday class and listen. Swamini has arranged a Zoom class, wherever you are, from there you can listen. What a comfort, congenial, ideal time and to learn Vedanta. 
if i keep classes directly you cannot attend all the classes this is one advantage biggest advantage for many students they can attend they are attending all the classes maximum students are attending all the classes what a great opportunity fortune so that uh, waking up to your real nature here also avarana shakti vikshepa shakti is there agnyanam ignorance is the nidra shakti like it is nidra shakti ignorance agnyana nidra is the cause for avarana i forget i am the consciousness existence principle number 1 that is covering my real nature avarana shakti then vikshepa shakti is i take myself as a body mind complex brother mother father sister like that all these are vikshepa shakti just as uh, um, that uh, what you can call a twilight you that twilight covers the snake first so rope first avarna rope is covered and snake appearance is vikshepa similarly once the moment i forget my real nature i look at the world as real nama roopa nanartha druk seeing all the worldly objects as real just as the dreamer look at the dream objects as real similarly here also this is shankaracharya's uh, not shankaracharya's example krishna himself used this dream example you see hmm about oh, this um, um papa prarabdha um all these are shunting the person as a waker punya papa punya prarabdha papa prarabdha like in movie also comedy scene and climax scene serious scene tragedy scene all these are movies like na similarly our waking world is also like a movie for a gnani if i am a gnani it is a movie for me because it moves me a cinema or a movie when i am looking at that uh, i become one with that um, characters and lot of emotional changes takes place and next week is before the serial comes uh, we always imagine also some people imagine uh, that hero should behave like this that he, this should happen that should happen in harry potter also happened like that only what is that conclusion should be like this the conclusion should be like this the hero heroine should be joined together the hero hero <laughs> like that people imagine it should be like this you imagine how much she become you know real for people ordinary movie unreal cinema serial becoming real similarly this waking world movie also real or real pongalo pongal madri real or real eppadi anna adhu da avarana shakti adhu da vikshepa shakti because of ignorance and student is telling swamini i am from past 10 years i am listening to vedanta but suddenly i got fear of death swamini fear of death and suddenly and he became so obsessed with that fear for one month he lost his weight <laughs> hmm? that fear still continues in his mind and going to astrologer what will happen to me and and that the astrologer suppose he says you will live so many years like this 3 uh, years 4 years 5 years na innu bak bak nirkam hmm? why to go to the astrologer and asking in and telling me also after studying vedanta 10 years also how this fear is coming na 
studying vedanta is different and whatever you have studied must be uh, assimilated practically applying that what is the fear of death that shloka is going to come krishna is going to explain <coughs> i'll read up to here um we saw in the last class shloka number 4 page number 340 किं भद्रम किं भद्रम वैत वस्तु नियत वाचोदित तदनृत मनसाध्यातम सालिड वेदात वंडरफुल श्लोका आय मे निमुक्त आत्मा in spite of that i have no problems really speaking but i superimpose all problems upon me taking myself as ahankara jeeva <laughs> that is the problem so krishna bhagavan says that you see in katopanishad also anyatra dharmad anyatra dharmad अन्यत्र अकृता कृत अकृता सेम ऐडिया आचार्य कृष्ण प्रेजेंटिंग किं भद्रम भद्र मीन्स धर्म वाट इज धर्म किं अभद्रम वाट इज अधर्म द्वैत अवस्तुन कियत टू वाट एक्सटेट this non existent dvaitasya the duality dvaitasya dharma and adharma are meaningless really speaking when you look at this duality world which is not real it is only an appearance how appearance is unreal na वाच उदित तत् अनृत वाट एवर यू टाक अबउट एनीथिंग दट ईज अनृत अनियल दट मीन आबजेक्ट आफ् युवर स्पीच ईज अनियल वायल यदाच न अभ्युदित अबउट आत्मा यू कैनाट टाक बिकाज वर्ड्स कैनाट रीच देर words to reach atma must have some gunas attributes atma doesn't have you are talking means uh, about something means it must have gunas whatever is having guna is not atma it is anatma atma is nirguna <coughs> whatever you are talking must have attributes whatever is having attributes is saguna <coughs> it is anatma it is not atma object of your speech is anatma upanishad says yadvacha anabhyuditam yena vaga bhyudyate that which atma is not uh, revealed by words on the other hand words are revealed by atma words are coming because of atma ena vaag abhyudhyate similarly manasa dhyatam anrutam eva cha even whatever thought of by the mind mind does what nothing but thinking some thoughts will come in the mind all the thoughts in the mind only about anatma except atma in the mind all other anatma objects comes in the form of thought manasa dhyatam means thought of objects apra apya manasa saha upanishad says en manasa na अभ्युदित 
यत्र मनोह मनः न गच्छति उपनिषद् कोटेशन सर आल्सो देयर सो ईश्वरा इज आल्सो एन ऑब्जेक्ट व्हेन व्हेन यू सी ईश्वरा एस नाम रूपा फॉर्म दैट इज आल्सो एन आत्मा इफ यू लुक इट ईश्वरा एस आत्मा देन दैट ईश्वरा इज सत्यम वन स्टूडेंट इज आस्किंग स्वामी नहीं ईश्वरा इज रिक्वायर्ड पर रेस ना why Ishwara is required? Anyhow, we are negating. Hey, in Ishwara, there is Chaitanyam. How can you say Ishwara is not required? There is Chaitanyam in Ishwara. Brahman plus Maya. If you say Ishwara is not required, means Brahman is also not required. And Namadhi, I know. Throwing the baby with um, the water, you know, tub water, giving the baby water, bath, you throw only water not the baby if you say ishwara is not required you are throwing the brahman baby along with maya water <laughs> so ishwara is required very much because ishwara is brahma chaitanyam is there until you understand brahma chaitanyam i am ishwara is required ishwara is none other than actually brahman only Maya is anyhow Mithya. So Ishwara means Brahma Chaitanya. Ishwara required or not, that question never arises if I understand Ishwara properly. Doubts bound to come. The question comes uh, when the world is, uh, whole thing is unreal, uh, why the sorrow is coming? Question arises, no? whole world is unreal, 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 you are telling. Then why I am sad? Why I am getting fear? Mrityu bhayam, vyadhi bhayam, jara bhayam, old age bhayam, bhayam bhayamo bhayamo bhayam. Going to temple and seeing the bhadram, bhagavans, abhaya hastam. But I have fear. I don't feel any abhayam in front of Bhagavan also because I have not understood Ishwara properly. I have not understood my real nature also because of lot of misconception only bhayam comes. Natural emotional fear bound to be there for everyone but we should not carried away by that fear. We should not carried away by that fear. That is uh, very, very important. Manasa jyatam anrutam evacha That also is unreal only. Ishvara as Atma is real. Ishvara as Anatma, name and form are unreal. So therefore, I the subject am that Chaitanya Atma. Next verse. Chaya Pratyaya Pratyakvaya Bhasam Yasantopya Pyarthakarinaha Evam Dehadayo Bhavaha Yachantyamrutyutobhayam Why this fear of death? One lady used to ask me. She was also studying along with me from Swamiji. She is very young also. And but she used to come and ask me, Swamini, I always have fear of death. At the age of 28, 30 she was asking me hmm, I am having this fear of death is chasing me all the time how to come out of the fear uh, while traveling in the bus or scooter uh, any time death may come like that fear chasing the person amrutyutaha bhayam yachanti yachanti amrutyutaha bhayam 
until death comes death comes only one time death fear comes hundreds of times death comes one time even we do not know we are dead <laughs> really speaking when death comes we do not know we are dead actually before death coming when we are alive itself that death fear comes what a tragedy in the human life you see chaya pratyaya khaya chaya means here a shade a shade pratyaya khaya means a echo sound echo shade or reflection chaya means shade or reflection pratyahvaya means sound echo abhasa the world is um, um, compared to asantaha api even though it is unreal it is abhasa world is compared to um a reflection like unreal how can this unreal world is giving sorrow if you ask how why it is giving pleasure and pain if it is unreal if you ask answer is this asantaha api even though it is not real unreal api eh api um, arthakarinah it is useful it is useful arthakarinam means prayojanam is there since it is giving both uh, pleasure and pain uh, it does not uh, it does not come under a, a real category it gives pleasure and pain therefore can you say it is real arthakarinaha api asantaha it is unreal only see your reflection reflected face is real unreal or not unreal is it useful or not it is useful nar the sound echo is also is useful it is unreal only but it is useful for your ears abhasa means um, reflection whole world is uh, asantaha api arthakarinah it is useful only when you are hungry just as in dream dream water is useful dream food is useful dream money is useful similarly waking world uh, water food are all unreal but they are useful just as your reflected face is useful the sound echo sound comes the words you are reaching to your ears because of echo the, the sound vibrations that sound um, you can call um, what what you call them um, sound uh, vibration that comes to your ears reaching in you know, shabda tarangas you know, sound tarangas you know, they will reach to your ears even though they are unreal they are useful evam dehadaya similarly your body mind complex also abhasa means optical illusion early morning kalyanam muhurtam they keep so and so time <laughs> sandhya vandanam in the sandhya kala they do is for useful sunrise sunset is useful for doing sandhya vandanam there are so many uh, other things uh, water appears blue sky appears blue all these are called optical illu- uh, illusion abhasa means optical illusion they are appearing or not even though sunrise is not there every day morning you see sunrise again it is useful get up early morning or sunrise therefore you are making use of it sunset 
evening they are all useful only evam similarly deha dayaha body mind complex also deha dayaha and even thoughts also bhavaha thoughts also even though they are unreal they are fulfilling our desires they are fulfilling our desires even though serial is unreal are you enjoying or not at that time ah, how much enjoying and you forget yourself totally saapadu venda onnu venda and serial anna podu and the time ki correct ukaru yaar work kuda and the time ki ye and the unreal serial ki how much you are feeling inside so like that yachanti that gives here yachanti means bhavaha that emotions thoughts bhavaha they gives amrutyutaha bhayam until the death comes the fear will be there emotional lot of emotions maximum people you see they have fear uh, why you are having fear i don't know i don't know i am afraid of this i am afraid of that i am afraid of this and you know, anything happens to me uh, that's why they keep identity card in the neck some senior citizens anna ella kaduthu potittu thesuthu nirpa after certain age so everybody is having that oka time comes one has to leave the body really speaking there is no death at all we never think of in spite of studying shastra we don't remember i the atma never die i am eternal sukshma sharira separated from the grass body will travel and take another body who is having death tell me neither sukshma shariram mind body so subtle body doesn't have death and atma the consciousness also has no death then who is having death we never question why this thought is coming why it is chasing me especially at the age of you know 70 80 the who comes always the thought comes death is nothing but a separation from the gross body i the subtle body the mind ahankara jeeva suppose i am a jeeva you take it as granted ahankara jeeva hey, you don't have death at all you are separated from the vasamsi jirnani yatha vihaya you give up this body yedu in the useless murku murku madri entry bending not able to kadika mudiyadu saapada mudiyadu paaka mudiyadu kekka mudiyadu in the vadambu vittu innor vadambu ku pore i go to another body where is death just i am leaving this old body i am entering another body it is simple logic simple no <laughs> clear logic is there here as atma i need not have fear because i have no death as subtle body also i have no death i am dropping this useless body just as the snake gives up the old skin and it gets the new skin how much attachment the snake has got towards that skin what it has dropped snake never bother about that skin it doesn't have any attachment after leaving that really speaking after death you do not know sir we are leaving you are left in the body you do not know but where there is a subtle body and gross body are together the thought arises in the mind because of misconception amrutyutah bhayam bhavati he is afraid of death until you know until death comes there is a fear once death comes he doesn't know <laughs> he or she is dead he doesn't know nobody knows at the time of uh, at the time of living only the fear of death comes because lack of understanding next shloka
ஆத்மைவதிதம் விஸ்வம் சிருஜத்தே சிருஜதி பிரபு திராயத்தே திராதி விஸ்வாத்மாத்தே ஹரதீஸ்வர த ஹோல் வேர்ல்ட் வாட் யூ ஆர் திங்கிங் even though it is unreal you should not uh, um, misunderstand there is no dharma because bhadram kim abhadram kim anyatra dharma anyatra dharma it does not mean vyavaharikalli um, all the differences are there bhavadvaitam न कुर्यात् क्रियाद्वैतं न कर्हिचित् भावाद्वैतं सदा कुर्यात् क्रियाद्वैतं न कर्हिचित् न क्रियाद्वैतं मीन्स अद्वैतं इन क्रिया व्यवहार नेवर डू दैट यू आर आल्सो सेम आई एम आल्सो सेम एवरी वन इज आत्मा ओनली सो एवरी वन कैन सिट टुगेदर एंड एवरी वन कैन डू एवरीथिंग इन रॉन्ग bhavadvaitam sada kuryat all the time you can do uh, advaitam aham asmi i am the atma vasthani sarva bhutani ishvara sarva bhutanam hrudeshe arjuna tishthati i am there in atma form in everything but as body mind complex व्यवहारकाले द्वैतम् पारमार्थिक ज्ञानकाले अद्वैतम् डोंट मिक्स अप एंड मेस अप एंड यू विल गेट इनटू प्रॉब्लम मेनी पीपल कमिट मिस्टेक्स लाइक दैट ओनली एवरीबॉडी इज इक्वल ने एवरीबॉडी इज नॉट इक्वल बॉस इज बॉस सर्वेंट इज सर्वेंट PhD, the one who has studied PhD and the one who is studying pre-KG, both are equal, no? No. Are not equal. There is a difference. So, Vyavahara, there is a difference. Difference is bound to be there. It's supposed to be there. You cannot uh, say Advaitam in the Vyavahara. it is only for understanding paramarthika drishtiya otherwise you will you know, krishna paramatma said na buddhi bhedam janayet agnyanam karma sanginam never confuse the people who are in ignorance in the world joshaye sarva karma encourage them whatever they are doing the karma kanda rituals upasana kanda meditation let them do different different people worship different gods different types of worship never criticize that is the first shloka never praise never criticize anybody inner bhagwan said so nothing deserve to be criticized nothing deserve to be praised inna ellame anatma da anal chumma ir anavashyama praising 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 or criticizing criticizing sing <laughs> criticizing and neither that nor this neutral be neutral atmaiva tat idam vishvam srujati so how this creation has come now we have understood creation is only an appearance creation is there or not very much there unreal creation is there na therefore unreal creation cannot disturb me unreal thing cannot cause any problems to me your reflected face is unreal echo is unreal your thoughts are unreal they are useful only up to vyavahara they are useful learn to change shift whenever you need that is called coming to green room if you don't know shifting yourself to green room your real nature and you will be on the stage only all the time playing the role 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 you will get rolled 
you will be rolled with the roll in her that is called an intelligent living in her living intelligently by studying shastra understanding shastra how the universe is um, um, created how this universe emerges out of me i'll tell you uddhava lesson like a dream the waker projects his own dream he became the dreamer he became the dream object waker only the subject dreamer waker only the object dreamed ex uh, experiencing objects also they are not different by avarna nidra shakti similarly by my maya shakti <coughs> by my maya shakti vikshepa shakti what will do i do atma eva i the atma alone i am idam vishvam srijati creates srijate created creator also created also atma is capable of with maya shakti prabhu means atma is capable of doing that with maya shakti like you in your nidra shakti how you do simple ordinary human being you yourself able to create the dream world dream objects every day why can't atma do that atma can also do that nara इन उपनिषद्स आलसो तत्सृष्ट्वा तदेवानुप्राविशत तदनुप्रविश्य ऑल द उपनिषदिक स्टेटमेंट्स यू कैन रिमेंबर वन वेकर बिकेम ड्रीम वर्ल्ड ड्रीम ऑब्जेक्ट्स ड्रीम ड्रीमर सब्जेक्ट वन वेकर अलोन बिकेम ड्रीम ऑब्जेक्ट्स सिमिलरली वन आत्मा अलोन appears creates um what waking world waking world objects waker and waking world objects by cosmic nidra maya shakti so with my maya shakti i create and i become the creator also created also bhokta and bhogyam not only that त्रायते अंड त्राती विश्वात्मा विश्वात्मा ऐ दि आत्मा हु इज देयर इन दिस वर्ल्ड ऑल परवेडिंग विश्व आत्मा आई एम द प्रोटेक्टर एंड आई एम द प्रोटेक्टेड आल्सो एज ईश्वर आई एम द प्रोटेक्टर प्रोटेक्टर एज जीवा आई एम प्रोटेक्टेड बाय i the atma alone i am the protector and protected just as the waker is the dreamer and the dream objects similarly here also not only that i am hriyate harati i am the ishvara o lord harati hriyate i am the dissolver and dissolved i am the one who dissolves everything harati not only that what is uh, dissolved i am only hriyate nar mai eva sakalam jatam mai sarvam pratishthitam mai sarvam layam yati अहम आत्मा अस्मि नेक्स्ट श्लोक नंबर सिक्स एक्चुअली दिस श्लोक कंटिन्यूस सेवेंथ श्लोक हैज गॉट थ्री लाइन्स आई विल रीड दट पेज नंबर थ्री फोर्टी वन तस्मान्ना 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 
तस्मात्मनोत सारी तस्मात्मनोस्मो भाव निरूपिता निरूपिते यम त्रिविधा निर्मूल भातिरात्मनी इदम गुणमय विधि दिस जगत इज नथिंग बट गुणमय विथ फुल ऑफ एट्रिब्यूट्स देर इज नथिंग अदर दैन आत्मा तस्मा आत्मन अन्यस्मा तस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्मात्मस्म
how you eliminate physically you cannot eliminate only bhati it is appearance only more in the next class om purnamada purnamidam purnat purnamudachyate purnasya purnamadaya purnamevavashishyate om shanti 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 hari hi om shri gurubhyo namaha hari hi om